Hey, what's up everybody? If you are working from home or if you're convert looking to convert a small space like a laundry room, for example, into a home office, um, hopefully this video can help you out. We recently converted our laundry room, you can see our washer and dryer right there, into a home office. This is what it originally, the room was originally equipped with, this uh, laminate countertop, and it had quickly became this ambiguous space uh, involving sewing and a uh, little bit of office, but mostly just a junk space. We didn't really use it very much. So the first thing we did, we got rid of this countertop and the support brace underneath it. So here's the countertop removed, uh, just kind of pried off of the walls. It is gl glued to the walls. And this was the end result. The space kind of looked like this. And the next step, was, of course, was to go to the hardware store to pick out some shelving. Now. There are lots of options. We ended up going with um, a 12-inch uh, deep and about 48-inch wide bullnose shelving. Now, I did buy an 8-foot section, and I cut it down two lengths, since the wall width uh, that I was working with is four, 4 feet or 48 inches. I also picked up some paintable caulking and some glue, and I essentially started to build the shelving. You could see it at the top of your screen there. And I used some 1x2s to serve as the base. Let's move the camera up so you can get a closer look at that. So the shelving unit just sits right on top of this 1x2 base that wraps around. Now I did attach the 1x2 base, you can see there, a better view, uh, to the studs in the wall. Super important. Uh, you do not want to just attach this to the drywall. You'll have a major problem if you're thinking about doing this yourself. So obviously get some 2.5, 3-inch screws and secure those into the studs. And then your, your shelf uh, will just kind of sit on top of that. Uh, so pretty easy concept, and they're really durable. Um, now I wouldn't go as far as saying I, I would stand on these, but certainly take a look at the load um, on these shelves. You'll see it can bear quite a bit. Um, and as for covering up all those gaps, you can take some of your um, paintable caulking and just kind of run that on there. You can see that and cover up any of the screw heads. Obviously, there's some imperfections there, um, but they're pretty much out of uh, out of sight, the line of vision, if you are standing up and looking at it. Obviously, there's some imperfections getting down close and, and, and whatnot, but um, it totally works. It's a do cheap do-it-yourself system, and um, this is how... How it worked. There's no bowing. Notice that uh, the shelf is quite durable. And so with those in place, we can go ahead and start to talk about the uh, tabletop. So what workspace did we want to have? So I went to the hardware store again and I got some pine. Now there's lots of options at the hardware store, of course. We opted for a pine and we wanted to get a uh, stain, not a paint. We did some test samples, decided kind of which uh, pattern we liked. We went ended up going with a gray, and I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in this particular color. We think it's really beautiful, and um, didn't want something solid like uh, on the right there, but ended up um, with some semi-transparent stain that looked like this. And then we put some sealant on over it that's um, for interior purposes only, and that gave it, gave it a really nice, very durable seal, and very strong looking finish get up a little closer here so you can see what that looks like and very smooth like I said uh, and obviously you want to follow the instructions on how you can apply the stain and the polyurethane to your um, piece of wood there's a better look there so again very smooth now some people might say pine is too soft of a wood now if you take your pen and and press into the wood, there'll definitely be a mark. So if you're um, using it for things other than maybe a keyboard or a mouse, you might want to think about going with uh, a wood that's a little more dur durable like oak. But um, for, for our purposes, it works really well as a home office tabletop um, and was pretty affordable as well. Now, as far as durability, it did need some a center support there. You can see as I press on it, it's very, very sturdy. Um, and there's a reason for that, so we'll get underneath here in just a second. All right, so there you can see a support. Now, that support was already there with our uh, countertop that was uh, installed as a laundry a place to do laundry before. And what we did was we lowered that countertop so our desk our workspace now is lowered because the countertop was too high so i did have to make some modifications um, but i put a put a base there and again screwed those into the studs in the wall so you want to measure accurately uh, and just use some scrap wood to kind of create a uh, um, a platform for your tabletop 
and I shimmied it just a little bit and used some quarter round to kind of cover up some of the unsightly uh, gaps and had to trim up my baseboard just a little bit. Um, doesn't have to be super pretty under there. It's not an area where the eye normally goes, right? Um, it just has to be sturdy, so whatever means is necessary. Again, drilling into the studs for your support system is going to be really important, and then securing your tabletop to the base. So this is kind of it when it was all said and done, uh, but we're not quite finished yet because we quickly noticed that once we were on Zoom calls or con video conference calls that what was behind and viewable to work colleagues was our lovely laundry room. You can see the washer and dryer right there, completely exposed to folks who, you know, you might want to draw that line between personal and professional world a little bit. So um, I will uh, show you what we did. We, we got a set of these uh, hooks and uh, this cable kit, and I'll put a link in the description below. This is totally awesome. And a shower curtain. We just uh, picked up a shower curtain that, that, you know, had the aesthetics that we were looking for, and that installs... Um, super nicely, a very clean professional look, I think, giving it a backdrop for the, uh, your work colleagues. So not a virtual backdrop, it's a real backdrop. And uh, of course, when you need to do laundry, you can just slide it open and do your laundry. So pretty efficient, very practical, I think. Easy access and you can just cover it up uh, anytime you want. And even if you're not on work conference calls, it's nice to just be able to hide some of that unsightly laundry mess that you know happens during the week so um, as you can see it slides and glides very smoothly um, getting a closer look here again you'll want to follow the instructions and um, they do indicate that you need to put that into a stud in the wall so it's super secure don't want to just put that into drywall for example you'll have a problem later on um, but it goes on really easily. There's no issues at all. They have these little covers. Uh, there's a couple screws underneath there. But um, as far as tension goes, uh, if you screw this little piece or unscrew this little piece, you can adjust the tension on the cable or the wire itself. Um, and so you can get this baby pretty tight, I would say. So it's nice and secure and firm. There's, it's very smooth. There's no like hooks or hangups or anything like that. So uh, that is our system. That is how we converted our laundry room to a working home office space. Thank you so much. Hope this video has been helpful for you.